After a summer of late shifts, it's likely that your children are used to staying up late and they need a little help adjusting to earlier bedtimes and wake-up calls. In tonight's Healthier Me, Valley News team's Yovana Simic tells what you can do to transition your children's bedtime so they can handle more time in the classroom. Getting your child to bed is hard enough, but after longer daylight hours during summer vacation, it makes it even tougher. So what do you do? Sanford Children's Sleep Specialist Dr. Arvedi Seti says the sudden change in a child's sleep schedule could make it difficult for them to fall and stay asleep. So follow these rules. Don't try to change your child's bedtime all in one night. Gradually, in an incremental way, they keep advancing their bedtime. Uh, but when they do that, they have to make sure that the wake-up time is same. Kids need 9 to 11 hours of sleep. So if your child is having trouble falling asleep, don't worry. You can still fix their school sleep schedule. But remember, once a bed and wake-up time are set, don't let your kids stay up past their bedtime on weekends. Next, create a nighttime routine. Calming activities like reading a book or taking a bath can help your child wind down for bedtime. As long as they have... Uh, some bedtime routine which gives a cue to the brain that this is a bedtime and it starts secreting melatonin. Finally, take all technology out of the bedroom. The light that many devices emit may make it harder for them to fall asleep. Avoid phones and TV and or Xbox or PS3 or any video gaming uh, things for about 45 minutes to one hour. But at least it has to be 30 minutes before the bedtime. So you and your child can get a good night's rest. Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. Doctors say it's also important for you to set a good example for your child by establishing your own sleep cycle. <laughs> All of us, really. Okay. <laughs>